Hello everyone, it's Joey Brown coming at you again. Got me a, a freebie bag that came with another bag that I had bought from Big Texas. Big Texas Prospecting. And uh, it's crevice dirt. No gold added. So let's see, let's see what's in there. This one's been vacuum sealed. I can tell because the dirt doesn't move inside. Ooh, it was sealed low too. There it goes. All right. Let's see what crevice dirt looks like. I'm gonna just feed the whole bag in there. the corner oh yeah that nice and clean all right ooh that is some ugly <laughs> tea stained looking muddy water down in there goodness thick enough that my hand disappears just is gone <laughs> yeehaw that's all right that's what happens when you get dirt dirt is dirty I imagine that's why it's called dirt because it's dirty i have no idea why i don't really care Oh goodness, that's going to take some, that's going to dirty up my pan big time. I might have to go outside and finish this one. <laughs> Yep, there might be no gold in here whatsoever. But we're going to find out. Mmm. -hmm. Just keeps being muddy. See if I can do anything with that. I can hear something scraping in the pan. Most likely little rocks and stuff. Come on, show me that good stuff. I know in a minute I'm gonna need these glasses. I might as well put them on now. I hate feeling that gritty sand on the edge when I grab that pan. Ooh, that's some mighty murky water in my little pan. I 
and I realized on the last video I turned over here this way and man alive was I was pretty close to the camera I didn't realize that I wonder if a little more light might help this situation and I think that's part of the reason I turn that way a little is because there's a light behind me and when I stand just like this it throws a shadow on the pan but if I stand like this it does not and I think y'all can still see that pretty well I need to figure out a better way to do my lighting. I mean, one of them's just a regular light that's in the ceiling. And then the other one's over here in front of me. I put the one in front of me to fight off this shadow. Boom. And so, that's why there's one in front. Because <laughs> the one behind me just throws a huge shadow. Because, well... It's behind me. And that's how light works. <laughs> Today's free lesson. Don't stand in front of the light if you wish to see. You know a funny thing? Uh, years ago, I was in Oklahoma... I was at these people's house and we were watching TV and there wasn't enough seating so I just put myself on the floor you know and people behind me started yelling at me to get out of the light I was like I looked around I was thinking to myself well surely they're not talking to me because both of the lights in the room were behind me didn't make good sense and they kept insisting, get out of the light, man. What's wrong with you? Get out of the light. And then I finally told them, I said, look, dude, the fucking lights are back there. Pardon my French again. <laughs> I'm like, what are y'all bitching about? And they're just like, dude, the TV. Get out from in front of the TV. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's the light, is it? <laughs> so I don't know if there's... Others of you out there that refer to the television as the light. <laughs> but yeah, that was a new one for me. I'm looking around like, dude, there's only two lights in this room and they're both behind me. Y'all are freaking crazy. <laughs> oh, get out from in front of the TV. I'm like, oh yeah, see now that makes sense. <laughs> I hear a dog scratching at my door. I'll tip it to. It kind of reminds me also, you know, things people say. And I know there's a lot of y'all out there that say this probably. Um, I had a friend from Ohio. He called every soft drink a Coke. No matter what it was. And I didn't know. I was heading to the store. I said, hey man, I'm going to the store. Anybody want some? He said, yeah, get me a Coke. So I came back with a Coke. He was like, dude, I didn't want that. I wanted a Dr. Pepper. I said, dude, you said get me a Coke. Well, that's what we call all of them. I said, then why did you just now say you wanted a Dr. Pepper? And he's like, well, uh, uh, like, no. Nah. You said you wanted a Coke. You got a Coke. Now, I know other people that just say soda. No matter what they're talking about, it's a soda. I'm like, yeah, you're going to have to be a little more specific. <laughs> I can come back with lots of things that are considered soda. And they might all be the wrong thing. Boy, I'm catching a lot of murky water. But yeah. <laughs> Just one of those things. Huh? But yeah, the light. That that's the that's the one that's always got me. Get out of the light. <laughs> I 
Look like a little piece of lead maybe went by. Hmm, I hear somebody knocking on something in there. Let me go find out what's happening. We'll be back. Okay. It was apparently nothing. Just somebody making noise. And that's a good thing. I guess it's a good thing. Hell, I don't know. Okay. You know what? I forgot to check this bag to see if it had magnetics in it. I do that a lot. My magnet is right here next to me and I always forget to pick it up. A little more water than I needed. <laughs> There's definitely some black sands in here. It's not all just flowing down the pan real fast. I sure hope I find something, because I don't know if I'll post a video of me finding absolutely nothing. And I know there are people that like to watch me pan, but they probably also like to watch me find gold, not just move dirt. <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> or maybe they just like to see the dirt move around in the pan, I don't know. Could be one of those things that people find aesthetically pleasing. Apparently people like all kinds of things. I have a friend whose little granddaughter likes... They have videos that I didn't know about that show car tire running over all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> and this kid just sits and watches that garbage. I'm going, what? Why? What's the, what's the attraction to that? And it's not like a car plowing into things at high speed or something. It's just... Running over stuff like a tube of toothpaste or you know, whatever you can think of, really. I mean, anything that won't pop the tire, they run over it. I'm thinking to myself, really? That's all it takes? Because sickeningly, these people had millions and millions of views. <laughs> I'm going, nah, come on. They didn't talk to the camera. They didn't interact with nothing. They typed words on the screen. And ran over stuff. Well, we're getting nearer to the bottom of this. Or at least 
of the smalls anyway. I still gotta go through the bigs. That's where that 10 ounce nugget's gonna be. Don't I wish. Of course, I don't know if there's ever been a 10 ounce nugget found in the state of Texas. If that's where this was from. Oh, New Mexico. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to do a little bit of research on the internet to find out about that. But I can't imagine anything that big ever been found in Texas. Well, I guess at one point they did find a couple of veins and it probably had some spots where there was big gold. Show me the shiny. I think I might be seeing something yellow showing up. We'll get a better look at it now. thick dark stuff that doesn't like to roll out of there real quick Ooh, I do see gold. Look, do you see the gold? You see that, whatever it is. That's a piece of lead, I believe. Okay, had to change my battery. But yeah, <clears throat> you know my mom. My mom fell the other day in the bathroom, and she fell like onto her ribs on the toilet seat area. I guess it apparently happened really, really early in the morning. But um. We took her to, uh, not the emergency room, but one of those, um, emergency clinic. It's kind of like a standalone emergency room. It was closer. We took her there, and they did an x-ray. And they said because of her fibrosis, they could, they could see one broken rib, but they couldn't see the others that well. So they sent them to another place that could do a CAT scan. And those people proceed to tell us that um, they can't do a CAT scan without a doctor's order. I'm like, what kind of emergency room situation do you walk into with a doctor's order in your pocket? Never, never, never. <laughs> And, uh, so they wouldn't do it. Wait, wind up at the, at the actual emergency room. They do the CAT scan and everything, and they ask why, why we didn't just have it done at the other place. And we told them what they said, and they were like, no, they didn't tell you that. We're like, yeah, but they did. They told us they, uh, couldn't do it without an order. 
Mm -hmm. I thought, that's kind of stupid. What kind of emergency situation do you walk into carrying doctor's orders? Just ignorant. I've almost got all that black sand off of it. A couple little specks hanging in there. Well, check it out, George. There was gold in there. Awesome, brother. Now, I know there's a couple of little roly-poly ones on here, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I just hope that nothing takes off. Alright. Check it out. Nice focus. Thank you. Okay. We'll let that float right there for a second. We'll just start right here. Got some twigs and stuff in there. If you can see it I don't know why it's even in there it shouldn't be in the bigs but there's a teeny tiny little speck of gold right in front of my finger I'll go ahead and suck that one up because when I move the rest of these rocks I'm gonna probably lose it I mean it was really really small I don't know why it managed to stick to the rocks and stay in there at all See, I did it again. I keep pulling it away from you. Looks like that one tiny little speck was the only one that made it into the bigs. Not sure how, but <laughs> it got in there. Stuck to a rock or something, I don't know. <clears throat> but here's what we got. Push it down off the tray. Push it all together. That's what we got. Now I just got to dry it up, see if my skill will weigh it. I'm sure it will, it's a certain amount. Awesome. Thank you, Big George. George uh, thank you, George, Big Texas. I'll get it right sooner or later. And let's go ahead and suck it up so we can go dry it up. Damn, I caught that black floater. I didn't want it. Alright. Now we'll go get it dried up. And we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, let's see what kind of gold we found, if any. Well, we, did, we know we found a little. And that crevice bag from George over at Big Texas Prospecting. Let's see. Turn it back on. There's a little bit. Oh, I better put my tray on there. We're going to have a problem. See how well those numbers are showing up. Pretty good. 
Point zero two four. There was gold in that crevice, George. How about that? Cool beans. Well, as always, it's going right in here with all the rest of the gold. Yep. Even the little cracks in the ground hold gold in some places. Wish they had gold in them around here. <laughs> that would be all right. Cool beans. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that. A little uh, freebie bag that I got from George. That was cool. And now he knows that there was gold in there. Since it says it was unsearched and all. Where's my off button? There it goes. Yeehaw. Well, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks, George. Y'all have a good one.